Nina Hussain, welcome to the University of Huddersfield. Thank you, thank you for having me. Uh, you've received your honorary award today. How does that feel from your hometown university? It was an incredible letter to get through the post. Honestly, we were doing cartwheels around the house when we received that letter inviting me here today. It's just not the sort of thing you, you expect bills, especially from the tax man. I was deeply honoured, completely touched and just astonished to be invited to, to get this award. And um, you've been with ITN now 10 years. Um, what, what, do you, what is the most exciting part of your job? Because you get to see so many people uh, so many stories. What, what is it that you, you really like best? The most terrifying and most exciting part of the job is that I can arrive at work nine o'clock on a Monday morning and have no idea what's going to happen next. And that can be throughout the whole day, five minutes to air or on air. At any point we can get breaking news and have to just react and deal to that and, and try and tell the viewers in the, the most straightforward, accessible way possible what's gone on in the world. Often we're dealing with very scary, frightening episodes of, of world history and, and being able to communicate, communicate that accurately, fairly, and, and also making sure everyone understands what you're telling them. It's a huge responsibility, my job, but a huge privilege to be able to do that on a daily basis. And you're a Huddersfield girl. Do you, do you come back very often? I do. My mum and my sister and her family all still live here, so we're back all the time, uh, which is fantastic, being able to show my children parts of my childhood, Dixon's Ice Cream, Greenhead Park, and, and just share the fantastic place this is. Huddersfield really gave me... Um, a fantastic viewpoint of the world. It was always two minutes away from Manchester, two minutes away from Leeds and one train journey, one exciting train journey away from London, which I think is what in part made me decide that I could do anything in the world because it was all accessible and within reach. So it's a fantastic place to grow up and to, to spread your wings from here, I think. Your patron of WizKids charity. Yeah. Just tell us a little bit uh, about WizKids and uh, what it's like to be a patron for them. WizKids is a bit like your Vice-Chancellor, just a formidable force of nature who, tiny charity, absolutely gets what it wants from anybody in touching distance. You cannot meet those people who, who run that fantastic charity uh, that in charge is uh, Ruth Owen. They are transforming the way children get wheelchairs. Within the NHS, a child can wait 12 years for a wheelchair. That's their childhood gone. The, the charity WizKids can get a, a child a wheelchair within a day. That's the difference that that, that charity uh, makes to, to these young people's lives. So to be invited to be part of the charity, to, to help them get their message across, was just such such an exciting gig to get. And uh, hopefully I'll, I'll work with them long into the future, that they are just an inspiration to everybody. Thank you most sincerely to the Vice-Chancellor, of course, and to the University of Huddersfield for considering me worthy of this great honour, and thank you so much for your kind words as well. I really appreciate them. I am deeply grateful and so proud to be receiving this honour in my hometown in beautiful Yorkshire, and I'm especially happy that all my family can be here too, and I'm really happy that they're being very good and quiet. Journalism is rarely well paid, it is always hard work, but there is never ever a dull day. So if any of you sitting here today are super keen to enter the profession, I just want to say it is a brilliant career. It's not easy, you will have a bumpy ride, no doubt, but it will be a fantastic one. So if you have just a, a small percentage of the luck and the breaks that I've had in my career so far, then you will do brilliantly and, and, and you will enjoy it. It, it. There is never a dull moment and every single day is, is different. And, and the, the people that you get to meet, as, uh, as David was saying, from, from speaking to people in the, the worst of, of their lives, the, the families who've lost children, um, to uh, the likes of Sir Patrick Stewart, who we all know and love at this university, but the fact that that is commonplace that I get to chat to somebody like that who's had this most amazing career. So you get to speak to people in the worst of times and the best of the times. It really is a privileged position to, to be on the front seat of history and to be speaking to people in their most private moments and about their greatest achievements. So if anyone is thinking that they think it might be too hard or too competitive, 
negative or not well paid, I, I would just say go for it, you, you won't regret it. To those of you who are here today who have also received degrees, many, many congratulations. I suspect that you've worked much harder for yours. You should feel extremely proud today. Enjoy whatever is coming next and never forget the years you've spent here in this great town and this great institution. University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.